What's up guys? Welcome back to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are back with more West of Loathing. Now in the last episode we released a couple people. We had to whisper in a library and we uh, just kind of saved some people. Honestly we're trying to figure out gun law. We're trying to figure out a lot of different stuff but uh, I think we're, we're, we're kind of at a standstill. I might end up having to fight some people if I can't figure out some stuff pretty soon. So I am going to give her the elevator button for the third floor. And we are going to head off. Uh, give the elevator operator to the button. She sticks into the empty buttonhole in the elevator's control panel. Thanks a ton. You sure are helpful. Uh, exactly. Well, how do you get exactly which floor? Go to the third floor. All right. The music room. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, this woman doesn't seem to be interested in anything other than cranking that hurdy-gurdy. Disconnect the crank, then. You definitely disconnect the crank from the hurdy-gurdy. If you don't know what a hurdy-gurdy is, look it up. I think they started using it back in, like, pirate times, honestly. It was like a crank. You know, like, imagine an accordion, but you crank it, and it plays, like, a lot of cool music. It's a really neat instrument. Anyway, I'm going to be done boring you guys. Uh, you definitely connect the crank and the hurdy-gurdy without alerting the woman's attention, but it turns out you needn't have bothered. She continued to turn the crank and blank-eyed, even with nothing attached. Hmm. You grab the end of the crank and pull her very slowly to the gift shop, where you find a Victrola to plug her into. Problem solved? She seems just as happy here as she was before. It must be nice to have a calling. Oh, hey, thanks again for rescuing me from that hedge maze. Hello. Either I never asked you what you do here, or I've already forgotten. I run this token smashing machine. If you buy one of the commemorative tokens from that other machine over there, I can put it in this machine here to roll it flat, well, flatter, and stamp it with our logo on one side and a fun picture on the other. Can I interest you in one? Uh, sure. Great, I love running this thing. It's so satisfying. What picture do you want on it? Uh, a badass shotgun does sound pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. A magical rifle is interesting. Um, let's do a cool pistol, though. I think that's more me. Gun Manor Pistol Token. Okay, what does that do? Whoa! Yeah, what's my lucky do? Plus six, yeah, that's why I wanted to do that. That is awesome. Plus nine moxie, plus 15 pistol attack damage? That's a ton. All right, I like that a lot. Info Desk. Oh, hi, thanks again for freeing me from that book. You still kind of have marks where the engraving is pressing into your face. I'm hoping they fade with time, but if not, I can always quiz myself while shaving. So, what do you do here? I provide information. Want some? Uh, sure. Uh, rocks. Yeah. Rocks. Great. I know a ton of stuff about rocks now. Specifically, igneous rocks and granite in particular. Did you know granite is frequently used as a building material due to its strength and pleasant gray color? Uh, neat. Tell me another one. Sure. How about this? There are over 700 different types of igneous rock, and only three of them are edible. All right. Oh, it's you, my hero and savior. <laughs> I mean, he is a dick. Leave me alone, I'm busy. I mean, it's funny that he's just, like, having to stand there. Uh, I wonder if this guy has any info, yeah, on... Uh, Gun Manor? Isn't it amazing? Mrs. Gun... Uh, yeah, okay. It was finished in 1877. It has eight bedrooms and one bathroom, plus a whole host of modern conveniences, like electric lights, a coal-fired boiler, and a bowling alley. My personal favorite room is a library, but I guess you knew that one already. Donated the House Historical Society, okay. She's actually never come out of her room since then, although she still communicates via telephone or in the house intercom. Full name is Teresa Olivia Gunn, but informally she goes by Terry. She was born in 1847 to Reginald and Priscilla Gunn. Her mother was a mathematician and founding member of the Western Society of Mathematics. In 1870, her and her father was a catapult operator. Oh, and, and her father was a cap catapult operator in the Unpleasant Disagreement of 1862. All right. Okay, my husband Dan, 1875, they have three daughters. Other than that, there's not a lot we know about her. She's a very private person, especially after she gave the house to the Historical Foundation and locked herself in a her room four years ago. All right, well, I think I'm going to head back. Wait, who the hell was that? Welcome to the Gun Manor Visitor Center. Oh, the greeter. Gotcha. Parking validation. Oh, it's this guy. All right. Well, let's head back in. Oh, that's the wrong one. The door is down here. Oh, let's go back up to the third floor. Mrs. Gunn. Hey, let's knock. Yes, who is it? Mrs. Gunn, I'm exactly gaming. Are you with the Ghost Exterminator people? Yes, ma'am. Florence Cunningham. Cunningham Ghost Annihilation Services. Exactly as my assistant. I'm your what? Who's the county licensed ghost hunter here, me or you? Okay, well, let's see about next time we see a fucking spider then, Florence. 
Okay, fine, I guess. Have you been able to exterminate all the ghosts? I still feel haunted. Thirteen of them left, according to the scanner. We'll start working on it, ma'am. Don't worry, you can count on us. Alright, please let me know when you finished. Thirteen left, damn. Oh, is this- did that say Mr. Gun? Ooh, okay. Wonder if he had any guns in here. Oh, I keep going out of the damn door. The sofa's tacky, both in terms of style and stuff that has been spilled on it. Oh, shit. There's a spittoon in here. Bright, shiny, beautiful spittoon. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh boy, yeah, come to mama. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? Uh, nothing. What are you doing? Look at someone who's kneeling next to a spittoon with the apparent intention of sticking her whole entire face inside it. Dive in. You jam your hand into the spittoon, into the shoulder, and find nothing. The brass bucket is shiny and clean, outside and in. Clean as the day it was born. The museum staff must have washed it. It looks brand new. Are you crying? No. <laughs> I'm fine. You're crying. Okay, well, I'll just be over here when you're done lying on the ground in a fetal position and hugging a spittoon. Fine. There was nothing in the damn spittoon. Hey, I'll grab a billiards cue. Wobbly billiards cue minus one moxie. The thing about people who buy billiards tables is that they're almost never the kind of people who will properly maintain their cues. This cue does not provide evidence to the contrary. Okay, let's turn this lamp off. We got an obvious I heart billiards, or it's actually just an upside down tra trap door in the ceiling. Too bad you aren't like 11 feet tall. This is both the biggest and dumbest poster you've ever seen. Oh, well, I want to go. Uh, okay, so I got to remember that. Hey there, how's it going? I initiate in chit chat, gal. Just billiards. Step up or shut up. Challenge him to a game. You pull your cue, and the ghost nods and racks the balls. He utterly trounces you. You just can't seem to make the balls go where you intended. That was as sad a showing as I've ever seen. Let me see that cue. Yeah, that's your problem. Things about as straight as a ba banker's handshake. What? You're gonna need to lay this back in back to true if you want a chance against me. Lay. Hmm. I'm gonna equip this and see if I can pop it with the thing. Since I said there's a trap door, but I have to be like 11 feet tall. Maybe I can hit it with the thing. No. Okay. All right, so I need to lathe this. So I need like woodworking stuff. Well, for now I'm gonna equip this again because it adds moxie, and I need that gun damage. Oh, this guy's a hunter. One of the moose's eyes loose. Hey, I got a glass eye. Now I can go give it to that lady. That's nice. Turn it off. Wow, you hope you never meet a live duck this big. So many. Wait, what? So many polyesters die just to decorate rooms like this. Those poor polyesters. Oh, what the hell is over there? These antlers are made out of paper ma papier mache. Apparently, somebody who had never seen antlers before. There's a goblin head mounted like a trophy in the wall. This would be positively barbaric if not the fact that the goblin seems pretty okay with it. Boo! Haha! -ha, flea gark. Problem. Flobon. Well, okay then. A strange game. Oh, wait. This ghost is dressed up as a traditional safari hunter with a pith helmet and big white mustache and those weird khaki trousers that make it look like your butt has wings. He's inspecting Mr. Gunn's trophy collection, but doesn't seem particularly impressed. Hi, I'm exactly gaming. Hmm? Oh, charmed, I'm sure. Lord Houston Camdenton, you're at your service. Uh, what happened to you, if you don't mind my asking? Uh, not at all, not at all. Though it isn't very exciting story, eh, what? I was haunting lions in the plains of the Sparangetti, and one of the blighters got the better of me. Wow, you were eaten by a lion? That sounds pretty exciting to me. Yes, well, not eaten as such, Sneaky Bugger crept into camp and pushed a stack of ammunition crates over on me. Oh, maybe I can help you. Hmm, help me do what? Well, help you with whatever's keeping you as a ghost. Though, now that as I say it, I guess there isn't much I can do to help you get revenge on that lion. Oh no, it isn't revenge that's keeping me here. Good for the lion, I say. Turn about his fair play and all that. Hey, what? Though I do wish he'd done in a manner that made for a better story. So why are you a ghost, then? It's because of many one true regret. I never faced the most dangerous game. I'm definitely not going to help you hunt people. What? No, no, no. The most dangerous board game. Nobody's ever willing to play against me. A bolly shame, eh? What? Uh, what's the game? He leads you over to a small table on which laid out a board of alternating red and black squares. Little wooden disc paint. Checkers? The checkers jump and scatter as the ghost stabs two large hunting knives at the center of the board. Knife checkers. Um, what are the rules? Do you know how to play checkers? Yes. Do you know how to stab someone in the hand with a knife? Yes. That's all you need to know, really. All right, I'll play. Oh, shit. Muscle. Uh, you yank one of the knives out of the board, and Lord Houston instructs you to hold it left-handed. The rules are you may only attack your opponent's hands, and only when they are over the board. Uh, displaced checkers are placed from where they land, but attacking the board carefully is foul, which awards the opponent a free stab turn. 
It appears to be primarily a game of concentration, quick movements, and fainting. Play carefully. Lord Yusa makes an advantage of your hesitation and knifes you in submission while marching his pieces across the board. Ha, nice try, lass, but you'll have to put up a better fight than that to satisfy me. Come back when those wounds have scabbed over. Well, now I'm angry and I pass out. Well, damn it. So what is my muscle? It's 26, which is not good. It kind of sucks. 26. Can I boost it? How much can I boost my muscle? Uh, that doesn't boost it. That boosts it. That's plus 9 for that. So I think that's probably going to be the highest so far at least. Alright, that boosts my muscle up. What else do I got? It's a new day, so I can sip on some of these. Increase my speed, poison, nerve pills, goblin absinthe, surgical gin, full canteen, or right, military good whiskey. By one, that's not gonna be enough. The ranch punch, hard tack, tainted beefsteak, muscle by six. Eat. This meat from a cow is literally a demon. Are you sure you wanna eat it? Yeah. In effect, raised steaks. You feel a spike of pain in your stomach. You eat the steak, it's extremely spicy. In, in the way that riot spray is extremely spicy, but for some reason you don't mind it so much. Okay. Now eat another. Yes. Raised steaks. And I'm going to eat another because it increases my muscle that much. Okay. So we got that. Alright. Muscle by three. Hog oil. Apply it? Yeah. Alright. A lot of laudanum. That's not going to do it. Instant grits? Nope. My stomach's full. Alright. So, what's my thing now? What's it sitting at? 56! There we go. And now I'll just pop over. Easy peasy. We'll go get him. Nope. That's to the thing. Always got to remember that. We'll pop in here. Go up here. Go to the third floor. Go down here to Mr. Gun. Oh, I guess that is Mr. Gun, maybe, is it? I didn't pay attention the first time. Leave him to his balls. I didn't pay attention if that was Mr. Gun, but that would make a lot of sense. I know he said his name's Eustace. The Lord Eustace Camdenton. Duh. I'll play Knife Checkers. Yeah, 50 muscle. You start at the game. Oh, shit, 50 mysticality. By attacking quickly and fiercely to establish dominance and keep your opponent from developing his pieces. The strategy is somewhat effective, but Lord Euston doesn't scare easily, and he managed to faint a few pieces. Okay, play instinctively. Shit. Ha, nice try, lass. Okay. So now I need my mysticality to be 50? There's no way that's going to happen. So it's 19 right now. Okay. So what can I boost it to? The brooch... Metal of Adequacy plus 7 Muscle plus 7 Mysticality. Yeah, that's not going to do much. Uh, Hedge Wizard's Orb is a lot of Mysticality, but that would take away offhand things. Okay, that's plus 9 Mysticality. Plus 13 Spell Damage. Okay, Lucky. Vibrating Scapula plus 7. Okay, we'll do this. We'll start. We'll, I mean, hey, that's a boost. It's a boost. And this is technically a boost, even though it doesn't do much, so we'll go with that. Any mysticality? Any mysticality? Plus six mysticality. Not bad. Plus six mysticality. Four muscle. Five mysticality. Six. Four. So we'll go with the six mysticality of the old spittoon hat. What's my mysticality sitting at now? 35. So I needed up 15. Is there anything I can consume that would boost my mysticality mysticality by 10 okay my moxie and muscle by 5 all right so now uh, so that I can still afford that though cuz oh shit my muscle went down too much i thought my muscle was like 50 oh fuck god This is hard. This is a tricky one. 
Increase your muscle mystically inbox by five. Okay, yeah. So now what's it at? 50-52, yeah, okay, my Moxie's low, but hopefully I won't have to use Moxie against him. If I do, I'm screwed. Uh, but I feel like that's the way it's gonna go. Damn it! In the mid game, you focus more on checkers than on your knife work. Moving in position for some big gains in the long term. Except for a few minor nicks, but are well positioned. Play straight forward. Shit. Well, he's gonna get his ass kicked then. Because I can't I can't match his thing. So we're gonna get all my stuff back. All my stuff back and he's he's a person whose ass I am gonna kick I'll say that I'll put up with enough of his crap I'm gonna kick his ass now all right time to go down bud sorry uh, seven damage force to shoot all of your enemies for 11 so let's just yeah boost mr. Cali and I'm gonna fuck him up. Yeah, you're done. Sorry. The hunter began the hunted by you. Hooray. Well, that's what he gets for having this game that's ridiculous. I mean, come on. Turn that light off. Well, guys, in that note, I'm gonna go give this lady her eyeball. And I think we're gonna end it after that. You know, she deserves her eye. She deserves that before we, we're done. So, let's go down here to the guest rooms. Give this nice lady her eyeball. Yes, kind of. Glass eye. How kind. Thank you very much. She takes the glass eye from you, puts it in, whereupon it falls through her hole and on the floor. She tuts as she picks it up. Oh dear, it's a little too physical. I wasn't certain this would work. Don't worry, it's easily fixed. Do you have a hammer I can borrow? A hammer? No, sorry. That's all right, dear. Just let me know if you find one. Well, we tried, guys. It turns out that it, you know, she's a ghost, so I didn't really think that through. But uh, in the next episode, we're going to go find a hammer. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later.